Hey, I'm Brass Herald. Welcome to Let's Play Splinter Cell Conviction, the latest installment in Tom Clancy and Ubisoft's uh, stealth action series. Just going through the opening here, and then we'll be off to the races. We got here our menu. It's a usual menu. Actually is pretty nice. If you go into each one, you do have different art. And since I'm not going to be here again, I'll show you guys a couple of things. Like, you know, it just shows these guys through there. If you go to different parts, it shows different people. But I think it is actually a fairly nice menu screen. It is only a menu screen, so it's not that big of a deal. So, let's just jump right in. Gonna start at Merchant Street Market, and we're playing on Realistic. Just do what you have to do. I always do, Sam. I always do. The thing you have to understand is this. The Sam Fisher you knew is dead. America killed him, asked him to make one sacrifice too many, cross one line too far. A drunk driver killed him, some anonymous asshole who ran down his daughter and vanished. And she was the one thing in his life that humanized him. And his agency killed him. It set him up, turned him loose, and told him to pull the trigger on his best friend in a dirty New York City basement. Irving Lambert died by Sam's hand that day. And so did Sam. So he left. Left her at Echelon, left the life he knew. Left America and mom and apple pie, left it all behind. He hopped off the grid and went walkabout, looking for a reason to go on living. Eventually, he found it. He caught a whisper in the wind that maybe his, his daughter's death hadn't been an accident. He heard a name, and he found somewhere to go looking, a city called right. Valletta. It's in Malta. Excuse me, sir. Yes? Phone call for you. Please accept these compliments of your call. Sam. Who is this? How'd you find me? Give me a little credit, Sam. Don't tell me you don't recognize my voice even after all this time. Grim, what do you want? To save your life. We can go from there. A team of armed men just entered the marketplace looking for you. They're closing in on your position. Unless you do exactly what I say, this will be a very short conversation. I'm not doing a damn thing until you tell me how you found me. We're third echelon. We've got an eye on everyone. Look up. You'll see it. I see it. Then I can take it back up to safe altitude and you can get moving. You still haven't told me how you found me. Move. You've got multiple hostiles inbound on your position, and from where you're at, you're a sitting duck. Now get to that group of stalls in the market. There's a lot of cover for you there. Just like the old days, huh, Grim? Just like the old days, Sam. Are you carrying? Yeah, but I'd rather not risk a firefight when there are civilians around. That's very noble of you. But right now, what matters to me is getting you out of there in one piece. So get to that group of booths right now, or I can't help you, Sam. So this is a fairly dialogue heavy level, so I will not be talking much through this, but you see they have projections on the walls that are 
targets in the light over there. Your instructions. So She's not saying anything stand. important Make here. There, and I might be able to help you out. One of the big sells of this game was that it was supposed to be stealth doesn't have to be slow, and this is probably the main reason why. You can aim at a cover and you see those arrows popping up, you move to the next one like you're jumping. Hang on. I'm tapping into the city's power grid. That'll let me overload the transformers near you and blow out those lights. And that's about it for the selling points. I'll probably talk more about that later on. Hey there, kiddo. What's wrong? I don't like the dark. It's scary. Turn on the light for me, please. Come on, sweetie. There's nothing to be afraid of in the dark. Sometimes darkness is a good thing. Like when you want to go to sleep. I could go to sleep with the light on. When it's light, you can't see into a place that's dark. But when it's dark, you can see what's around you much better. Really? Really. So if there's monsters or bad people around, you can see them. And if you're in the dark, they can't see you. I can't see you either. Can you please turn the light back on? Okay. Then how about this? There's one really cool thing I didn't show you yet. There is? Show me. Okay, here it is. When you're in the dark and your eyes get used to it, you can see all sorts of things around you really well. And then you can do stuff with them. Like what? Now take a look at your mobile. You can see it really well, right? If there were monsters standing underneath it, because I can see it, maybe I could make it fall on them and they'd go away. And it would fall on their heads and they wouldn't be bad anymore? That's my girl. Teddy, what was that? Shh. Daddy needs you to stay in bed now, okay? He's going to shut the door and I'll be back real soon, all right? Okay, Daddy, I love you. Shh. Stay in bed. There you go, Sam. Nice and dark, just the way you like it. So here we go, first killing action. You know what you did, you bastard. We'll get you. You can zoom in with the R stick. I'm going to let him stand still. Show yourself, I know. asshole. Show me what you got. If I can pull off the clear shot, Give I can't remember where he stops. Oh. There you go. Come out and show yourself, fuckface. Be a man, you douche. Come out and play. I missed that. What do you got, man? You got anything good? This place is shit. You picked it, asshole. You said we'd get a couple of thou easy. I heard there was metals and shit we could fence in here. And the lady that lives here is hot. Maybe we could wait for her to come home. Take it out and trade. Now shit. you're talking. Talk to me. Sam? Sam, are you there? Come on, don't check out on me. Graham. Oh, there you are. They brought in some reinforcements, and the man calling the shots is with them. Get a hold of him. I'll ID him, and you can figure out what questions to ask. Okay, and as you can see, they're carrying Desert Eagles. Uh picking it up now because I never want to have to use this gun again to be honest. It has no silencer on it and I really do not like that. You can't ever get a silencer for it. And then just like you saw in the cutscene, you do a melee kill, then mark and execute. Uh, 
and that's really as advanced as the gameplay gets when you don't have any ID devices. Leader, Sam. His name is Dimitri Gramkos, a local street level boss. He hires himself and his gang out on a regular basis. Who's he working for now? Why don't you ask him? I think I will. Just showing off there for a second that you can shoot out lights to create shadows. They show that constantly in uh, load screens. You see anything? But we shouldn't need that too much. Also, you can mark before you have the ability to execute. Probably I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. Of course. Not happening. Back's all blocked up. He's gotta come back. So we have here four people. Guy in the back, we get an X because he is the guy we have to interrogate. Not enough cover. It's gotta be somewhere around here. Probably someplace. Ah, shit, I messed up. Oh. That's good. I'm out of here. And he runs into the bathroom. We're gonna follow him in and interrogate him. This is probably the first thing most people have seen of the game, because this is the first part of the uh, Looking demo the they put out. No more playing around. Who sent you? Fuck you! So we have here an interrogation scene. You can put them near objects like they say and press B to interrogate. I'm gonna show off three of them here. Okay, enough! You wanna know, send me? It's Colbin. Andre Colbin. <coughs> Runs drugs, guns. Anything people want, he gets it for them. Not good enough. Why does Colbin want me dead? If I talk, he'll kill me. <coughs> He's <coughs> He drove the car that hit your daughter. He used to brag about it, you know? Uh, heard you were coming, so he hired me to, to kill you before you killed him. You should refund his money. Where do I find him? You don't understand. In the city, the old museum on King George Street. It's his place now. Guards out front and on the sides. Don't tell him I told you. Oh, I'm not gonna tell him a damn thing. And that's it for Chapter 1, Market Streets. Thanks for